Right. The last of my blog that I'm going to talk about is something that was on a TV program today, which I watched, and that was this morning. Basically, um, I've said it before, it's a magazine program, and Rylan was presenting it with his husband or boyfriend or whatever, and basically they had two people on there, and it was all to do with, um, should children be tracked? Now, one person says yes, and the other person was basically saying no. They did do a poll, and then this morning poll said that 87% of the people said they should be uh, tracked. And what it basically means is, it more or less to do with when um, children go out, basically. We're talking about, say, under 16 years, so we're talking about maybe if you're like 10 years old, or 11, or 12, or 13, or 14, or whatever. When they go out, and they have a mobile phone or something, should it be tracked? They have a device on there where you could track the person for where they are. And it is an interesting one because although I think no, I guess it is safety in that aspect that by tracking the children, they know where they are and they know what they're doing, basically, in case of emergency, you know. And they do say that there's all kinds of people out there these days in this world is not as safe as it used to be. But the thing that really I thought was is trust. There should always be an issue with trust. Because the one on this morning basically said, I think we should all be able to trust people basically on these things. And that why should they be tracked all the time? And I guess that is true because basically we're getting to the stage where social media is taking over our lives now. Everything is taken over and kids and children and um, young people, whatever, they don't have that, what we used to have basically, because years ago we never had devices like this. But it was always a trust issue and you've got to remember that um, not everybody is the same. You know, there are nice people out there and, you know, Sometimes they don't need to be watched on every move that they make, basically, for when they get trapped, or when they go out. And not everything is going to happen all the time, which is bad. So there should be a basic rule that maybe it isn't like putting, um, for whatever reason, um, they should always be trapped. And I've been reading some of the comments that have been put on Facebook, um, basically, and there was some, like, basically saying that it should be age-dependent, under 12, imp imperative that you know where your child is at all time. 12 to 15, discuss with child benefits and tell them if you're going to do it. And then 16 plus is their decision and can choose to say no to it. And I think that's an interesting one because that, may work on that level, I think that's a great, um, and that, because when you get older, you know, when you're, when you're 16, basically, you come to the, although you're not quite adult-ish yet, you're still, you're still at that time where, basically, I'm, I'm 16, you know, I'm getting to the stage where I've got to learn, I've got to basically say, I don't always want this, and I can go out on my own, see my friends, I can tell you where I'm going, it's, it's like myself, Basically, um, I know I know a lot of people are going to say this is stupid and mad and, 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 and that, but basically, um, I'm not young. People who know me and watch my videos will know how old I am. Um, I've probably said it before, but I'm 36 now. But basically, um, even when I go out, I always let my mum and dad know where I'm going, obviously, because I don't just go out anywhere and not tell them. But basically, um, it's not the point of this discussion for me or my age group. But, it's still irrelevant, it's still relevant to the fact that I would like, I would tell them where I'm going though. So really, if they don't have devices and be tracked, kids should basically be able to say, Mum, Dad, whatever, I'm going out with my friends, this is where we're going to be, blah, 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 blah. And possibility could be, I can text you if I need to, or you can text me if needs be. That kind of thing without being too alarmed about certain things. And that's a good thing to have, because like I said, it should be trust. And it happens to be when we're, when we're at this age, where you get to the older stage, even from my age, 
the same thing can happen because I certainly would not go out without telling my mum and dad where I'm going. I know people I know people say it's stupid because you're big enough and old enough to do what you like. I am. But I don't want my mum and dad coming home and thinking, where's Matthew gone and, you know, what is he up to? Because, um, well, they need to know. They need to know that I'm out somewhere because if they don't, they are gonna, they're going to text me and mum might say, where are you? And that kind of thing. So, and it's important for that to be something, you know, um, so they know a little bit about, if, if I say to them, I'm going around my friends, I'll be back later on. Fair enough, but it'd be it'd be a bit worrying if I was going around my friends and I didn't come home at a normal time and I didn't come home at all because my mum might think, well, he normally comes home for this certain time and he'd been gone 24 hours or whatever and we haven't heard from him and that kind of thing. And you know what people are like, and it, you know, they get worried on that basic thing. So normally I just say to them um, where I'm going and then usually if I have to be out longer or whatever, I would say, look, text them and just say that won't be home tonight back home in the morning as an example but I think with the it's an in, it, it is it's a controversial subject I think when we look at these things on these programs when we watch them like for instance when we do watch um this morning and they have things on here like that basically all to do with um things like should children be trapped it's a controversial subject from many things and I just think that's basically um that I think there should be a bit of a trust thing going on it shouldn't always be about that um everybody thinks that you should just simply say yeah trap the phones and all that thing and um basically just simply like that because one thing for sure and this is what I'm going to end off with that you don't realize it's okay to be trapped and have that but you do realise that it could be, it could easily be lost. The phone could be lost easily. If somebody wanted to abduct, abduct a child and they knew that person had a phone that had been trapped and that kind of thing, it's very easy to basically chuck it away. It's very easy. You, it's very easy for that person to basically break it, chuck it away, take the battery out, do whatever they want with that phone. It could be broken in no time. And then what happens to the tracking device? It's not working. It doesn't work. So they wouldn't get tracked then, would they? That's what you don't have to... You have to realise on that one. So, as much as it's a good idea to have that device, it's not that hard to break the device that you have. And that's what some people don't think. But, that's just, exact, that just exactly what... Um, was said on this morning basically it can happen but but there you go but i'll leave it there you've all got your own views on there surely so let me know what you think but other than that bye for now